Greetings. W is for winner. Okay. All right. So today, today the goal is to give you guys a lot of time to work on your homework. All right. Now, also, I'm kind of just turning you guys loose because it's a lot of the concepts we've already covered. They're just being applied to quadratic equations. All right. So today we're talking about inequalities again. Okay. So, just a quick little review here with inequalities. Okay. If we have these two symbols, what kind of line should we get? Dotted. All right, what about these two? Solid. Okay. So let's pretend, all right, you guys are given the equation. We're working with quadratic equations. Let's say you have y equals x squared plus 3, all right? Well, um, you guys, the equation is going to be a little bit diff more difficult. So you guys can use the calculator today to graph the line, all right? So if you guys were going to graph this, it would look something like this. Let's make this greater than or equal to. Alright. It would look something like this. Alright. So you can use your calculator to graph the quadratic. We already know how to graph quadratic, so we can just skip, the, um, use the shortcut. Alright, we can use a graphing calculator. The main thing today is just realizing that we now have to shade. Okay. We're not only graphing this function, we have to shade it because it's an inequality. So, in order to do that, we have to test the point. All right, we have to use a test point. When you can, zero zero is the easiest one to use. All right, that's whenever we do not have the function passing through zero zero. So, whenever it's not passing through zero zero, use the origin as your test point because zeros are easy to work with. All right. So if you use this point, okay, you have your x and your y. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug that into your original uh, function. So you'll get 0 is greater than or equal to 0 squared plus 3. All right. What you're going to decide, what you're trying to determine, which, da, 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 what, are you, what you are trying to determine is whether or not this is going to be a true statement. So is 0 greater than or equal to 3 no okay if it's not if it's not true okay if the point you pick is not true then you shade the opposite so instead of shading the outside where this point is at we're going to shade the inside okay so whenever you pick a test point and it's true you shade the same all right if it's true, you shade, shade the same, and if it's not true, you shade the opposite. Okay. In this case, we picked this; it made this uh, equation not true, so then we shaded the opposite. All right. The other thing you might see today, or you will see, is that you'll have a system of inequalities. All right. And when you have a system of inequalities, your answers come from the area of the graph where both functions are shaded okay where both inequalities are shaded so if you have this one here and let's say this one here okay what you'll do is you'll pick a test point all right let's just say you pick this as your test point all right, and what you're going to do is you're going to shade, find the shading for both graphs. I mean, for both uh, equations. So let's look at the one that's opened up. All right, let's say we plug in this point to uh, the equation, and it's true. Okay, if we plug this point in for this one here, and it's true, where would we shade? Outside. Okay, so we'd shade 
this function outside. Okay. Um, you want to keep it at the origin when possible, and then I usually keep them on the axis, the axes. Um, that's just a personal preference for me. Or you can always try to use the point one one. Is easy. Just pick a point that is relatively easy to plug in for you. Okay. So now looking at the one that's open down. Okay, this one open down. We can use the same, uh, the same point, the same testing point. And let's pretend that this one, okay, this time it's not true. Okay, we plug in this point in for this function here, and it's not true. Where would we shade? Inside, okay, so this one would be shaded inside. Right, so where would our solutions lie? Yeah, where both of the shades meet. So in this area here. Okay, it'd be that area here where both of the shades meet. Okay. So understanding that, you then you then will just be asked to find two solutions. Okay? So if we wanted to find two solutions, we would just pick two points in this area. Okay? And this is just a quick review because it's very similar to what we did when we had linear equal inequalities. Okay? So if you're uh, need a little reminder how to shade or just the process we went through this is the same process we're just applying it to quadratics okay you should still have those notes all right the only thing that's really new today okay is when we solve quadratic inequality inequalities algebraically okay so not by graphing but by algebra okay so let's say we're giving the equation x squared plus 4x minus 32 is um, let's go greater than 0 okay the first step okay if we were to solve this the first step is just to rewrite it with the equal sign okay so you get x squared plus 4x minus 32 equals 0 okay now we've been solving quadratic equations for the last week or two alright so we can use any of the methods alright anytime we have a trinomial the ones that usually work best are factoring when we can factor and the one that always works is the quadratic formula okay so I'm gonna kinda work uh, a little bit faster through, through this part because we've been solving every day okay so I'm gonna use the AC method and the factors for this are x plus 8 and x minus 4 okay so I did was use AC method to factor this because now all we're doing we're on step 2 we're gonna we're solving this after we rewrite it with an equal sign we're gonna solve this okay then we know once once we have the factors, set them both equal to zero, and when you do that, you'll get x equals negative eight and x equals four. Okay. So these are the critical values. All right. We, we have an inequality. Okay. What we have here are two. Um, we have in. Uh, we change it to an equation. So we want to find the inequality. Okay. The inequality that represents these critical points. All right, right now we have an equals. All right, we want the inequality, so we have to test outside these critical values that we have here. So the way you do that is through a number line. Okay, it's through a number line, and this is uh, greater than sign, so it's going to be open circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to test outside these critical um, values to figure out what the inequalities are that represent the original that we started with okay so a good point in between there in, twi in between these two is zero to test and 
any number out uh, greater than four and less th uh, less than negative eight would be good. So I'm gonna just use ten and negative ten. Okay. So you want to test these, all right? So if we test ten and we plug it into here, we'll get one hundred plus four times ten, which is forty. So one hundred plus forty minus thirty-two. Is that going to be greater than zero? Yes. So that means that we shade to the right of four. Okay? Shade to the right of four. Alright? If we plugged in zero, we'd get zero plus zero minus thirty two. Is negative thirty two greater than zero? No. So we know that this is not going to represent or not be a part of our inequality. Okay, so now plug in negative ten, we get one hundred minus forty minus thirty-two. Will that be greater than zero? Yes. So we shade here as well. Okay, so now we can understand how to represent or how these. Uh, what our answer is. So we'll understand the inequalities that represent uh, the one we started with. So if we're looking at x equals 4, we need to make this inequality. What is the inequality for this critical value here? Yes, we should get x is greater than 4. All right? And we look, what is the inequality for this critical value? Yeah, x is less than negative 8. Okay? And what word do we use here? Or. Yes, we use or. Anytime we have them going in opposite directions, it's this or that. Okay? The only time we use that and is when it's in between. Okay? So this here is your solution. All right? That is your answer. Okay? So if we start with an inequality, we should end with inequalities. Okay? When we change it to the equal sign, these just represented our critical values. Once we find these, you just have to test those values to find the inequalities. Okay? So only thing new today is just testing uh getting the inequality as an answer. What we've been doing, okay, has been this part. So we should know how to solve these quadratics. We're just now incorporating the inequality sign, okay? So I just, I know that was a quick review, okay? The whole point of that was just that I want you guys to try to apply what we've learned, okay, previous to this to today. I want you to kind of, you know, if you struggle, that's okay. But I want you to just work through it on your own and try to make the connections. All right. If you have any questions, you guys are more than uh, welcome to ask me or work with a partner. Okay, you can uh, create your own group, but just try to work through the homework. All right, you guys have a good day as well.